Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, they're very serious at MIT. They've invented the sun in a box. What? The sun in a box. It could solve our energy shortage woes, according to this report. Quite fascinating. But here's the report. A push toward renewable energies has uh, caused the MIT uh, to work on a new technology. The renewable energy is essential to fight what they believe to be excessive climate change, but it's also a vital part of planning for the future power needs. As the world needs more energy, we can't let all this free solar power just bounce off the planet, even if we develop more effective solar panels. How do we store that power? Battery technology has lagged for years, but a team from MIT and the Georgia Institute of Technology may have the answer. They call it sun in a box. What? The most effective and widely used batteries we currently have use lithium technology to store energy. Even the best batteries degrade over time. They lose power to the heat and lack the kind of energy density we would need for powering the grid. The device detailed in the new study serves the same purpose as the battery, but it's not one. Matter of fact, the sunbox is a insulated graphite silo containing a slug of white hot molten silicon. Uh, its, ac- its actual name is much less exciting. It's thermal energy grid storage multi-junction photo uh, voltage. Why don't we just call it sun in a box? Well, according to the researchers, the sun in a box could store excess electricity for long periods of as heat. So you would use solar panels to power the grid, but the panels stop generating power when the sun goes down. However, you just need to make sure there's enough panels to produce excess power during the day. That power gets funneled into the sun box to heat up the silicone core. When the grid needs power at night, the multi-junction photovoltage system inside uh, the silo captures light from the glowing silicone to convert it back into electricity. The system would work the same with wind power. You're just heating up the silicone with power from different source. You'd be using the wind. This approach is similar to molten salt energy storage, and in that system, its concentrated light heats the salt to about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So then you need to get that heat out as energy. The salt is pumped through a heat exchanger to create steam that spins a turbine. However, the temperature cap isn't high enough to supply many homes when the sun goes down. So the silicone core of the sun in a box could reach 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit or more. Based on initial small-scale testing, the team estimates the single storage tank could store enough power to supply 100,000 homes overnight in combination with solar panels and wind farms. That's a lot of homes, folks. That makes it a sun in a box. Technology advancing, renewable energies, change in uh, the complexity of how we uh, power our world. Great information to learn. We'll talk about more about this. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. 12 noon Eastern. Go live at the backup channel because that's where our guest, Dr. Anthony Harper, will be joining us from Israel, from the Holy Land and the dedication of the stone altar for the third temple. First time in 2,000 years. I'll be back with more in just a moment.